Back now to that breaking news. Let's listen in to the update from Brenham. As a result of this incident, um, the driver was, was being followed. He had stolen an 18-wheeler earlier. Justin's going to get into all that, so I won't get into those details. He was being, being chased by a, a deputy, and he ran into our building. We have several people that were injured, and, and one is deceased at this time. Again, Justin will get into all those. This is a tragic day for us. Tragic day. My heart and, and goes out. My heart and prayers goes out to the family members of those that are injured, as well as those that are injured. We have multiple agencies that are here that are assisting, to include Washington County, Brenham PD, the FBI, and as well as all the resources that we have with the Texas DPS. So we have the Texas Rangers, the Texas Highway Patrol, and the Criminal Investigations Division. So I'll step back. And let, I'll step back and let Justin uh, Sergeant Reese come up and give you guys the details. Thank you all for being here. Really, really, really appreciate y'all. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is a sad day for DPS and for all the people that were involved, uh, all the customers that we had in our building today uh, for today's incident. Uh, a Washington County Sheriff's deputy and other law enforcement were behind this 18-wheeler. Uh, it was reported stolen. Uh, when they saw the vehicle, it was on State Highway 36 over here on this side of 290 by the McDonald's. The driver fled from law enforcement and came here on, on 290 going westbound took the uh, the feeder loop under 290, the main highway, uh, and went east back on 290 feeder. Uh, the stolen 18-wheeler took a hard right turn and went into the DPS Brenham office. The suspect is Clintard Parker, who is 42, from Chapel Hill. Parker was taken into custody and take it to the Washington County Sheriff's Department. Parker was taken, or Parker did come to the DPS uh, Brenham office yesterday at approximately 3 or 4 p.m. where he was denied his commercial driver license. He then, uh, while he was there, the driver's license staff advised Parker that he was not eligible to uh, renew his commercial driver's license. Two people were flown to CHI St. Joseph's and Bryan. One person was flown to Memorial Hermann Hospital in Houston. Three were transported to Scott and White here in Brenham and have been released. And eight were treated and released on the scene of the incident. Unfortunately, one person has to come to their injuries and died at the hospital. Criminal, the, this is a criminal investigation that is being led by the Texas Rangers. Parker is facing multiple felony offenses and victim support services for DPS is on the scene at the family reunification, which is at the Brenham Police Department. Any questions? Does the driver have any weapons on him at the time? That's all under investigation. His name is going to be Clinard Parker. C L E N A R D Parker. Does he have previous charges? That's under investigation. Can you talk to us about the deceased person? Which hospital did he or she? die at and do you know the approximate age and male female? We're, we're not going to release that information right now because it's still uh, very fresh and so family notification still has to be made. Was that person a state employee? That's, we're, that's under investigation. How many people total were state employees and how many were? How so we all we have right now is 14 total individuals. Uh, that's all under investigation. Still very active. Can you repeat your question? No, there was no resist. Could you describe how he was arrested? He was taken out of the 18-wheeler and taken into custody by several officers. When he was denied that CDL, were there any threats to return and were there any precautions taken maybe at the office? That's still under investigation. We're, we're pulling all the information that we can. So I'm assuming that You're, that's all going to be released through a public information request. Why was he denied the CDL? That's all under investigation. You don't you know, know why he was denied. No, we're still trying to get all that information. It's very fresh, so we're still trying to get as much information as we can. Do you know approximately how many people were actually inside the building or in the surrounding? That was going to be the 14 people. Just the four, so all 14 people were injured or 13 injured and one deceased were 
totality of people who were yes, inside? Yes, all the people inside. Were there people in there who were uh, not injured, who were just present? So the, the, the eight that I said that got checked on scene, uh, that was everybody that was still there that didn't want to go to the hospital. So that's going to include all all the people that were there. And now, did, did ICU react? What's that? We're, we're, we're still trying to figure that out. And the 18 wheeler looks like it went into the building, did he drive out and ram it back in, or why is the 18 wheeler out? Yeah, he, he went into the vehicle, or went into the building, and did come back out. Which is you drive the building, we can see the entrance. When, when is the front door is that? Is that, front door? that is the front door where the driver's license office is at. How long back did it go? I'm not, it's un, unsure right now. We're still trying to figure all that out. And so that, that front door, the front door uh, saw that's a waiting area where people who are, you know, waiting for the driver's Correct. license and that kind of thing. Correct. Yeah, that's what the, the waiting area and where the driver's license uh, desk are at. Gotcha. And so were any were any offices just trying to get an idea of exactly how far into the building Correct. did the truck make it inside? Did it make it past the lobby into office areas where employees? That's all still under investigation. There are there are several offices behind uh, that driver's license waiting area. So we're still trying to figure all that out. So out of the driver. The suspect did not suffer any injuries. So there were 14 people, just to clarify, 14 people total. 14 total. Eight people checked out, one person deceased, everybody else went to the hospital. Everybody went to the hospitals, state. yes. Okay. And then of the 14, how many were civilians and how many were state employees? We're still trying to figure all that out. Now, did he drive out of the working lot of him? What's that? Who had actual custody of him right now? Washington County Sheriff's Department. He's in jail over there. And did he drive by himself out of the building or is that just six? That's something we're... Two more questions. We have time for two more questions. We're still trying to figure all that out. Let's go ahead. Sergeant, could this be considered an act of domestic terrorism and the case of federal? We have all our all assets on scene and trying to figure all that out together. Uh, like, I said, like I said, this is still very active and ongoing, so I can't release that information right now. Hey, can you give us a sense the threat level was already at a heightened level just in recent time because of the, the climate, if you will, uh, can you give us a sense of, of where that will be moving forward in terms of the other government offices and law well, What I can say today is that this area is safe. Uh, we've got the, the suspect in custody, and we're all out here trying to get the, the scene uh, all fixed up and, and taken care of. All right, that's the very latest from Texas DPS out there in Brenham. They told us a lot about the suspect. A man in his 40s identified as Clinard Harper, who went out to that DPS office yesterday, was denied a commercial driver's license, then engaged troopers in a chase today, took a hard right off of Highway 290 business right into the front doors of that DPS office. We unfortunately learned one person inside lost their life because of that decision by Harper. 13 other people were hurt. A number of people treated on the scene, others taken to the hospital that have been released. So there is a good number, perhaps between 11 and 14, who suffered only minor injuries and have been released. That is the good news in a tragedy. Again, the update from DPS, the tragic headline, one person killed in this incident today at the DPS office in Brenham. It was intentional, and the suspect now is in custody.